Next up, we got Poly Freakos Unleashed five year anniversary. Now we've come back with these Karen videos. All right, um, this is a forty two minute video. Um, I'm going. I'm not going to do all of it right now. Uh, I'm probably going to just do like ten minutes or something like that. Um, we're gonna do. I'm gonna set another light goal for y'all. All right, here you go. Another light goal. Last one we did, last time we did it, we did it, you know what I'm saying? We broke the uh light go. So here we go again. Alright. Let's see. You feel me? Now, if y'all want part two to this video in particular, alright, I'm gonna ask for five likes. Alright, five likes on this video, and we do um part two of this. But, hey, let's see what it is. Tom Bop. Are we seeing this? I seen this on TikTok. <coughs> Thank you. I think that was a part of the Karen video, though. I think that's just a funny video he wanted to put on her. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, as always, for tuning into Public Freakouts Unleash. We have a very special episode for real this time. It is the fifth anniversary of Public Freakouts Unleashed. This channel, believe it or not, has been around for five entire years, and we are darn tootin' near 250,000 subscribers, too. With that in mind, please take a second out of your busy schedule to like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn those notification bells on, share this with every single person you've ever met. The guy recording this video <laughs> you've and ever met. group of friends or family members, I can't tell which, are confronted by this woman you see here who accuses them of not belonging there. Car, Move your car, please. Move your car. Look she being racist. This is racism right here. starts off as an almost standard Karen-y confrontation between the woman you see here and the staff of this lingerie shop turns into an absolute chaotic nightmare after she decides to hit one of the phones of the women who work there, causing unparalleled mayhem. Side note, kudos to the other employees in the shop for holding back the woman with the least self-restraint. Not that I blame her. We tried to help her find a new bra after she complained about the one she bought. Don't touch me. Bitch, don't touch me. We returned a bra she well, didn't stealing, like, even though it was past the return date. You're stealing, so you I'm go. Not, no, I'm not stealing. You are stealing. You just said you were going to steal. You just said you were going to steal. No, I said stealing. Everybody's doing it. Everybody's doing it. Everybody's doing it. You just said you were going to steal. No, I said stealing. Everybody's doing it. Okay, go ahead. Well, you're Damn. Out. They don't have cameras in the store. Ew, store. Why would you not have cameras in a store? What? You're being very rude and disrespectful to my coworkers, so. These people here in Soma think that they're better than everybody else. They would like to not sell $70 bras to people. When I tell them that my size, they want to argue with me. And now they're telling me to leave the store. Because you called everybody disrespectful me. names. They're chasing me because I called one of their girls a bitch. And a bitch. <laughs> oh, hi. Are we still so an old woman? Are we still an old woman? Ooh. I have your bras here, ma'am. I have it here. Sorry for that. Here, you keep recording just in case she says anything. Okay, I have all your bras here. Let me go ahead and cancel that one. So you're going to sit there and court each other the whole time? That one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel. Ma'am, please record. Yeah, girl. It's weird. Oh, no, they're recording me. They're your girls now? You own them? Oh, my God. 
God, please shut up. It's her right there. Oh, here we go. This is people you gotta watch out for for uh Oh my god, if you was to ever hit her car, bro, oh my god, bro. Oh my god, she'll go over to beyond, bro. Literally. Oh my god, I broke every bottom of my body. Uh-oh, now it's getting juicy. Uh-oh. Bro, she doing all this. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, she trying to be her ass. Oh, she trying to really be her ass though. She do not care if the security. I don't know who that security is. That's a fake security. That's a mall cop. That security ain't doing nothing. What are you securing? That's a real question. Next up, I feel incredibly bad for whoever was forced to clean this up afterward. Oh, he got one of these. Bro, I hate people like this, bro. You literally throw everything on the ground, bro. She throwing it at him? What the fuck is wrong with her? Is this a gas station? She throwing, was it, pop or something? Energy drinks? Oh, my God, bro. Look at this. Don't she get sued for this, right? She can get sued for... Oh. This is... This is... Look at her, bro. This is embarrassing. Look at this. She broke all... Look at... What is she doing? What? What the fuck, sir? Oh, this is a hockey game. Oh, I'm but you touching him though? What? Call the cops. Call the she cops. definitely a Karen. Look how Please she look. Karen. This man shares a grief-stricken message with President Joe Biden after discovering the increase in the price of gas. Joe, <laughs> I didn't eat, Joe. Joe, I didn't eat today, Joe. You know why, Joe? You want to know why? The gas, Joe. I got a car. I got a car, Joe. Look at me, Joe. Joe, my feet is on land. My feet is on land. I can run into a op. I can run into a landmine. This is it's all on you, Joe. I hope you're paying for my funeral, Joe. Now I gotta walk these streets because the gas price is too high. <laughs> Bro, I do not take the doing us like this, Joe. What the fuck is wrong with This woman gets after it in a Little Caesars after she is denied a refund at the front counter. Now, I don't know if you've ever been to Little Caesars, if you have it in your area, but it is the subway of pizza places. And I do not mean that as a compliment. This woman <laughs> is so irate by the situation that Bro, she got beef with Little Caesars. Full blown temper tantrum in front of every single person there. Disclaimer, absolutely no one was hurt in this video. This is not a fight channel. Everybody knows that. Refund me my money. Refund me my money. Refund me my money. I told you to fuck off, okay? Listen, I ordered yesterday at 100. Go pull off, pull off. Try this. Okay, and like I said, 
I said to him, I want a refund because when I got the crazy bread, they were burnt. And I took pictures of them and I showed him. This is why you, when you get your food anywhere, not nah, okay, I, I can't say anywhere, but just like Little Caesars, for example, when you get your food, you you as soon as you like get in the car, you open it, bro. As soon as you do, bro. Even if you really have time, you can open it at the register. You know what I'm saying? Open it, make sure it's straight. They should be. They should show you. Usually, like where I'm at, they show you their pizza. They show you like you know what I'm saying. They just open it for you real quick, and then you know what I'm saying. Make sure it's all good, and then they give it to you. That's why you supposed to do that, bro. You supposed to literally look at your food, bro. Now they think she, she they probably think she lying about the uh, burnt crazy bread or something. Wait, so you, so you you doing all this over six dollars? I just showed him, and you know he's sitting here laughing in my face like I'm a joke. <laughs> you are. He was doing this all for six dollars. Oh my god. I bought these for my kids. I don't I don't take that shit lightly. When it's with my kids, don't around. Here's your here's your purse. No, you can't hold my phone. Here's your purse. She said you can't hold my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Just give her some bread, bro. And get it called a day. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my God. Okay. Bro, I right hear is a whole bitch. I ain't gonna lie. It's no way, bro. A girl just did it to you like that, and you didn't stand your ground. I ain't say you had to fight the girl. I'm not saying I don't. I don't condone. You know, what I'm saying I'm not trying to tell people to go out and fight girls and stuff like that. But at least stand your ground. You know what I'm saying? Don't let her. She basically just alpha mailed you, and she the girl. Bro, are you serious, bro? It's no way you just let this happen. And it's probably because he built like a toothpick. That's why. He built like a toothpick. You gotta get in the gym, bro. <laughs> he walked away. Oh my god, bro. No, no bro. She just bitched you. I ain't gonna lie. Why is he blocking the door? Can't even see, bro. Air, air cameraman, bro. Come on, man. Oh, she threw the. Yeah, I knew that was a, the tip box or something. So perhaps a couple of you have seen this already, but just in case you haven't, I had to throw it in there because I missed it when it first happened. Somehow, you know, I'm supposed to be the guy, and you know, here I am dropping the ball. It's unbelievable. This woman is going full blown Karen and is haranguing the dude working this mall kiosk. I'm assuming it's a mall kiosk. I'm using contextual clues to make that determination, but she sits there and asks him what his name is over and over and over again to the point where it's borderline harassment. Are you the manager here? Go away. Are you the manager here? Yeah, I am the manager. What's here. your name? You? Yeah. Can you spell it for me? Can you go away? May I please have your name? Can you go away? May I please have your name? Just give her a fake name, so I gotta do. Duh. Alright, what's she gonna do with your name? Where are you? Why are you harassing us? Where are you harassing? I'm not harassing you. You're the one with the phone in my face. Yeah, because you're harassing. I'm literally you asking your you? name. I'm just asking your name. Why? I'm just asking your name. I'm just asking your name. <laughs> Look how Thank you. Close he gets. So what's your name? She don't even care. <laughs> Oh my god. 
<laughs> yeah, I like it. Give her a solid treatment. Give her a solid treatment. That's perfect. Can I please have your name? <laughs> yeah. Can I please have your name? Can I please have your name? Can I please have your name? She's gonna make it a song. She's gonna make it a song. from the last video in this one this guy is trying to get the name of an employee to make a complaint about her to the company's corporate office she refuses to give it to him your name we've got a complaint against your company I mean, I my company you first head off yeah so what, what's your name so you put a complaint. Name. i'm putting a complaint against you though so i do because I, 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 I do a civil case on small claims court for it so yeah i do for what for discrimination you're, you're, you don't, you don't you're choosing. You're choosing your company's policy over law. Which I have to abide by as I'm working for the company, yeah, yeah. and I'm on duty. Even though you stated that you can't be bothered to look at proof. I didn't say I couldn't be bothered. Don't All right, y'all. <laughs> I can't learn now. They saying, like I said, five likes for part two. I got y'all. Um, but hey, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Comment, share, react to next, man. Follow Instagram where I'm most active at. We on the grind to ten. Hey, I'm out.